Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to manage the storage on your iPhone 10. So go ahead and open up your settings. We're going to come down to general, which is at the bottom of the screen, and then tap on iPhone storage, which is in about the middle of the screen. Give it a second to go ahead and scan your device and see what is actually taking up your storage. Now, when you first launch this, it might take a little while. It does depend upon the amount of apps you have installed on your device. But you'll see up here at the top of the screen, I have a breakdown of my usage. So it looks like most of my storage is being used by apps, then photos, media, and other. And then I can swipe down and see some recommendations. So here it recommends that I use iCloud Photo Library to upload my photos to the cloud to make sure that they can go across all of my devices, but as well as offload those off the storage of my device. I can enable that if I want to, but keep in mind that that is an additional purchase that you will need to make. Everyone gets five gigabytes of iCloud storage for free, but if you need more than that, you can see here that I'm going to because my main storage for my phone backup is one gigabyte. So I will need to purchase more if I was going to enable that. If I tap on show all, I can see all recommendations. So from here, I can clear my recently deleted album and my photos app. I can offload unused apps and I can even review personal videos. And so this can save me up to 3.39 gigs and I can see what videos are taking up my storage. And then down below all that are all of the applications I have installed on my device. And I can see when they were last used and the current size that the app is taking up. And that is sorted by the largest to smallest up at the top. So Spotify, obviously, I have a few different albums synced to my phone, so that's why it's going to take up a lot of storage. You can see the app size itself is only 93.9 megabytes, but the documents and data, which is some of the music that I've synced over, is actually 4.72 gigs. Now I can offload the app, and what this means is it will free up storage used by the app, but keep its documents and data. For installing the app, we'll place back your data if the app is available on the App Store. So this will kind of just offload it to the cloud. There is also the option down below to delete the app, and this will delete the app and all the related data from this iPhone, and this cannot be undone. So it's kind of like deleting the app from your home screen when you tap and hold on it and it kind of jiggling you hit the X. That's deleting an app, but you can come in here and delete it from the storage as well. So you can see I have a reasonable amount of apps installed on my device, and I can swipe through and see all of the ones that are installed and how much storage that my device is actually using. Notice when you get down all the way to the bottom, there is a system, 8.86 gigabytes. That is the iPhone operating system. That cannot be deleted. You cannot tap into it. You cannot do anything. And that will vary from time to time based upon the cache that is using to store all of your images and files. But for the most part, I would say come up here, you can see that you can clean up some photos and videos, even clean up some recent deleted apps. And then there are some apps you can delete if you're not using them anymore. So that's how you manage your iPhone storage on your iPhone 10. If you found this video useful, be sure and give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech, and we'll see you in the next one.